discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart. Wishing my viewers a very happy new year, 2023. I'm absolutely delighted to bring you these beautiful, beautiful cards from the deck of Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. I was drawn to this deck for the yearly reading month by month from January to December. As I did the card readings from January to December, I noticed these were actually guidance cards by the fairies offering clarity to each of our aspirations. Maybe career, opportunities, emotions, our inner child to face our deepest fears and inner thoughts, self-development, any projects that we've wanted to do, even friendships and relationships it had all been addressed to. So by the end of the year, we merged out complete and improved. Fairies truly have made a plan for us for a better version of ourselves. And I would love to know what you think of these cards as you go through the year, reflect on them and do come back and Leave a comment so I know how they resonated to you during the month. I have done a detailed review of the Oracle of the Fairies, all the 44 cards shown by one by one. To know more about their energy, how they relate to our daily life, please do have a look at these cards and my earlier video. So without further ado, let's look at month by month for 2023. January, Moon Energy, Surrender, Surrender, Surrender to the natural ebb and the flow of life. If there has been a lot of chaos last year, this month is a chance to let go, to flow with life. If you have been feeling confused, pushing yourself towards one direction, ease off and go with the flow. This fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. The moon energy makes me think of the song Dancing in the Moonlight. How can this calming energy bring healing to you? Focus on the moon energy for the month of January. Divination Embrace your powers of divination, which are particularly strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. This month especially, go within and explore your spirituality. What are the different ways you feel drawn towards there's so many avenues and whichever one you feel drawn to go within and find your answer focus on your situation and the answer you seek will come through March new beginnings springtime is here a time for new beginnings a time to be reborn focus on the picture of the mother fairy bringing love to the, her little one offerings the doves of love beautiful spring trees that are growing in the background Focus on the picture. What do you feel drawn towards? These are the times for new adventures to start. If you have been wanting to focus on a new career path, new life purpose, a good opportunity for you to make a head start this month. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby. 
or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. April and sure enough this is protection for April. With your new ideas that happened last month are you feeling a bit vulnerable this month? The fairies bring you strong protection. The fairy circle in the picture. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Absolutely, so we take the help of our guides of our fairies, of our ancestors, whoever you pray to, God Almighty, for protection before any spiritual work, before any new ideas that you put into action, your career, if you are sitting for exams, think of who you would pray to for their loving care and protection. To guide you forth in your journey. This month we talk about life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine bring you lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that need to be healed. So a beautiful radiant card full of sunshine and life energy. There is always a side that we keep in the shadows, that side that we need to face, slowly uncover in our own time. That side of us that we don't really necessarily reveal to anybody but we know it's there, a yin and a yang. So slowly now look into what needs to be revealed. If something needs to be dealt with, something we've just pushed aside, this is a good month to shine light on those issues and bring them into light as well. Deal with these problems one by one so that we overall feel lighter in our energy. The next month, magical blessings. Magical blessings everywhere. Appreciate these blessings for your abundance to shine through. The more you appreciate, the more happiness you feel within, the more you attract these magical blessings. Whatever you're going through this month, you're being assisted by the magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. The beauty of the human race, we can bless others. This giving of a vibration, this gift that you pass on, goes forward and spreads joy, clarity, lightness into the universe as well. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Aha, uh -huh. this month we deal with our addictions that we have. Are you overdoing anything? Think about your activities. Think about your food, your diet. Try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Do not overindulge a little bit of a dessert, a little bit of a wine once in a while brings happiness, attracts positive vibrations, takes you forward but too much of it of course you know what happens within. So a, mo a little moderation for everything. Inner child, the fairies of playfulness reminds you to make time to embrace your inner child. Have you been too strict with yourself? 
too harsh with your routine have you neglected yourself focus within your body will give you clear signals what it needs to do a bit of tlc a bit of pampering go to the spa look after yourself if you feel like a lovely long walk to detox your thoughts to open up your heart pamper yourself look after your inner child looking after your inner child playing keeps us young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe transformation the next half of the year we have already come this far this month we focus on transformation the change within you are ready you are ready to let go you are ready to move forward and this transformation brings the better out of you the fairy tells you to surrender to the transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good embrace your transformation the best is yet to come so this month we see a clear change within whether it be in your thoughts whether it be in your career in your life a sure change this month at the same time the butterflies they signify you are being guided you are being helped any doubt that you have within let go and sure enough the next month is abundance what you have worked so hard for this year you have planned you have focused you have looked after your thoughts you have let go you have grown emotionally spiritually and this has brought about the abundance coming to you this month prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land there is enough abundance for everyone if you are in a pattern of competition know that there is enough for everybody you do not need to focus on the others but focus on yourself how you can take yourself forward in your life two cards came up for this month friendships and the light we will see each one separately and then see how they can connect together friendships we worked hard now focus on your friendships for the month of november we are coming towards the end of this year so don't forget your loved ones who have taken such good care of you in the past who have been with you who have guided you through and focus on your friendships this month fairies and humans alike need friends Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Next card Being pure within the light the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation brings clarity to remind you that the light can penetrate the darkness. If they have been a situation that you feel it's still in the dark the only way through is shedding light on it rather than being caught up into a negative pattern the way out is not to sink low into the low energies but to rise above to shed light on it to take you forward and open up your heart your friends might just be able to help you with this endeavor on shedding light and helping you move forward pure intentions be true to yourself be true to your heart focus on your life let go of negative thoughts that you may have 
the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely manifest your heart's desire your emotions are strong keep them positive keep them happy and your manifestations will go a long way to come true manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all what you ask for you shall receive make sure it is for the highest good of all the entire card reading seems to be of an emotional and physical detox where we let go in return to emerge much stronger and wholesome at the end of the year purer in our thoughts purer in our vibration thank you for watching with love and fairy blessings and love to you all like and subscribe with the notification bell to receive immediate updates every time i post new videos thank you